how to use AI art and chat GPT to create a insane web designs. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you how you can easily create this kind of website without any graphic design or just use an AI artwork from Midjourney and chat GPT without any coding. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, we need to create your mid-journey. So you can visit midjourney.com. And before you visit here, make sure that you already created your Discord account. So just go to discord.com and create your account. So this is the, the homepage. And what we can do after you created your Discord account is go back to mid-journey. And over here, just click the Join Beta. So here, you just need to accept the mid-journey invite to your Discord account so that you will have your mid-journey inside your Discord account. So let me just go ahead and click I am a human. And then over here, we successfully connected our mid-journey inside our Discord account. As you can see here on the left-hand side, we have now the mid-journey. So you can go ahead and now start create your own AI. So here, as you can see, we have different AI here, and I will show you how you can also do this inside your Discord account. So this is where we are going to create our website design or AI design. So let me just go ahead and go to inside a mid journey, just click the new B59 over here. And then what we can do here is that we can ask mid journey to create as a, an AI website design for our website, of course. So over here, you can just simply click here and over here, you can just simply use this prompt, which is the uh, slash forward and then type imagine and then just simply click the tab button from your keyboard. And here, as you can see, we have now the prompt. So here you can type inside the prompt all the keywords that you want to include. Keywords is like a detailed um, information of the AI art that you want Midjourney to create for you. So for example, we just need to enter here. So for example, I will just type the keyword here, a beautiful website for shoes. And then you can just add some two hyphen and then just type a V space four, that's for version four. And then over here, just add another two hyphen and then just type in stylus. This is the number of random AI generated that you want Midjourney to provide to you from zero to 1000. But here I just need to enter 500. And then after that, just click enter. And let's just wait for Midjourney to create as a AI design for that keywords. So here we have now the result and Midjourney give us four different kind of photos that you can request to upscale any one that you like over here. So let's just go ahead and check the image here. So here, as you can see, I like this one over here. So if you want to upscale this one, you can just click over here, upscale. So we have the number one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and upscale the number three. All right, and let's just find the one that we just requested. So there is a lot of user here, so you can also see different kind of requests here. And again, I will just go ahead and, and type in here slash forward, imagine, tab. We have the prompt here, and then just paste the keywords, and then I will just go ahead and correct this one. And I will just add some comma, add some UI, UX, or let me go ahead and also add UI slash UX website. And then let's go ahead and add two hyphen V space four space v, two hyphen again, and then stylize 500 and then click enter. And let's see if what kind of artwork Midjourney will provide us from additional keywords that we just added. So let's just wait here. So we're still waiting for Midjourney to create as a website design that we can use for our shoes website. So let's just wait. It's still loading here. So now we are in 62%. And let's just wait to reach the 100% for more clear image. All right. So we have the design now over here. 
So again, you can also choose one from these four photos and you can upscale one of them or you can select one from this four result and you can create a different variation. Depends on which one you select to create the variation. But let me just go ahead and try another one here. So I will just copy everything. And then down here, I will go ahead and type in again the slash forward imagine, or I can just click it here. And then inside the prompt, I will just space it here. And what I will do is I will add some additional keywords here. So for example, I will add Nike and then some color like yellow, red, blue, and teal. And then let's just go ahead and click enter and let's see if what kind of result Midjourney will give us. So let's just go ahead and wait. So we have our request here and we are still waiting for Midjourney to give us some results. So now it's processing. All right, so we have our design over here. So as you can see, this looks so good now. But if you want to make it more creative, I can see here we have this one over here. So maybe I'd like to have a website like this. So I can just go ahead and copy the link for this one. So I will just copy the image link and then I will go back to our mid journey and over here I can type in again the imagine and then what I can do inside the prompt I will paste it here the URL and then over here I will just copy this one again and then paste it over here and what I can do is that for the stylus I will make it 750 and then just click enter and let's see what we can get from mid journey so here, Midjourney will make this one as your resource for the AI generated artwork. So here, let me just go ahead and look for it. I lose it again. So now we have the result over here. All right, so I guess I like this one over here, but I also like this one here. So let me just go ahead and upscale this one. So I will go ahead and upscale the number three. All right, so we have the design over here. As you can see, this is so cool. And I like the design and also the color. So I will just go ahead and make use of this design for our website. So I will just go ahead and click open in browser to get the high quality. And then I will just save this image in our computer or in my device. So once I downloaded the photo, I will just go ahead and go to the uh, chat GPT. And over here, you can make use of this platform chat GPT to write something about your website. For example, the, the hero title, the tagline, call to actions, um, the about your page or about your company. You can ask chat GPT to write those kind of information for your website. So for example, I will just write it here. Write me a brief outline for website for shoes, including hero title, tagline, call to action, features, and details of high quality and unique shoes. And then just click enter. And let's just wait for the chat GPT to write us something. So here we have our hero title, which is the step into style with high quality shoes which I really love, so I can make use of this. And also we have the tagline here, elevate your footwear game with our unique collection. I also like this one, but if you want to get more version of this, you can also write down here to ask ChatGPT to write you more tagline that you can use. So here we also have the call to action, shop now and experience the comfort and quality of our shoes, which is really good, but I will, I will just make use of the shop now. And then here's the features that you can also add to your website website and also the details here for our high quality uh, website. So what you can do next is that you can make use of the Editor X to create a website. So I will just make use of the blank canvas here. And before that, I will also open my Photoshop for us to do some minor 
edit for the image that we just downloaded from Mid Journey. So now we have our Photoshop here. First thing that I will do, I will just crop it. And I will just click check. All right, and I will just duplicate the layer here. All right, so we have the copy and I will just go ahead and expand here. Let me just go ahead and check the content aware. And I will just expand it here and then click check. All right, so let's just go ahead and check it here. So we have this kind of image now. So what we can do is that we can make use of the healing brush tool to clean up some mess over here. And then also here, let's just make it more aligned. And I will just remove this one over here because I don't need it. And then after that, I will go ahead and export this one as a PNG. So we just save the design. So the next thing that you can do is that you can go to the, uh, the Editor X and let me just go ahead and click this one. And now we can start our design. So over here, we have our blank section. So we can add our section here. So just add element and then you can just add your own photo. So we have our image. So let's go ahead and change the image over here. All right, and let's go ahead and upload our own image. And we are going to make use of the image that we just edited from Photoshop. So upload from computer. All right, so we are still uploading the file over here, as you can see. All right, so we have the image now. So we can go ahead and click update. All right, so we have our image here now. So what you can do is that you can just expand this image to cover all the section. All right, so here is our design now and we've perfectly fit it inside our website over here. And as you can see, you also have your own logo here and your own home. And now we can go back to our um, chat GPT and get this uh, hero title here. And we will just add this hero title in our website. So I will just go ahead and click add elements here and then just add title. And then over here, I will just go ahead and paste the title over here. All right, so we have the title over here and I will just go ahead and move it here. All right, so maybe something like that. And I will just go ahead and also edit the text over here. As you can see, we can make this one bigger, like for example, heading one, all right. So now we have this one over here. Let me just go ahead and move it up here. So that's our hero title. And of course, we can also adjust the spacing, the formatting and the alignment. It depends on you. But for this tutorial, I will just skip this one. And going forward, I will go back to the chat GPT and also get this tagline over here. So we can add another text inside our editor X. And over here, we can add our tagline. So I will just go ahead and add our tagline over here. Let me just move it here. All right, paste it. And then let's just make this one as paragraph and make it bold and italic. So now we have this one over here, the hero title and the tagline. But of course, guys, if this is your website, you just need to spend more time to make everything perfect but for this tutorial i will just uh, show you the fastest way that you can create your website without any coding so now we have this one the next one is you can add your own button which is the shop now this is the call to action button so just click this add icon again and then over here just add button and then just edit the button name here so just change the text and then over here, just paste it, shop now, and then just click enter. All right, so we have now the shop now button. Let me just move it here. And then of course, you can make this one bigger as well and then change the color, maybe something like that. So now we have this website over here. And of course, to finish this one, you just need to complete 
all the texts that you want to include inside your website. And for the other page over here, you can also ask ChatGPT to create you another design for the next section down here. It's up to you, but that's how you can make use of the ChatGPT and MidJourney to help you create a good looking website without any coding and without any um, UX design or without any graphic design involved. So I guess that's all for today's video and I hope that you learned something today and if you have any question just comment down below and thank you for watching.